Once again, Environment Canada has released an air quality warning for much of central Canada due to wildfire smoke. Hamilton and the rest of the Golden Horseshoe sit in the middle of the zone under the air quality warning, stretching from Windsor to Ottawa. Climatologist David Phillips says we can expect these air quality issues for years to come. But now we're into the lightning season. So, I mean, this is not going to end. I mean, nature doesn't look at you and say, OK, I've given you enough heat. You've had enough smoke to breathe. Now it's going to be clear sailing the rest of the time. No, often what you see is what you're going to get. And our forecast is saying more of the same. What you're seeing this summer is really a sign of what the weather forecast is going to look like from years from now. Environment Canada suggests people check the Air Quality Health Index daily to determine how much time to spend outside. But how do you find out your local air quality reading? Environment Canada's Air Quality Index can be found on their website. There, you will see a rating of 1 to 3, which is low risk, 4 to 6 is moderate risk, 7 to 10 is high risk, and over 10 is very high risk. The risk designations for an area can change regularly, so it's important to keep checking the air quality forecast. There are different recommendations for people at risk of suffering health problems when exposed to poor quality air compared to the general population. Those at risk include people with respiratory issues such as asthma, COPD, pneumonia, and those with heart disease. Infants, children, pregnant people, and elderly people are also considered to be at risk. So what does each level of risk mean? Low risk means everyone can safely be outdoors. Moderate risk means most people can be safely outdoors, but people at risk should consider reducing their outdoor activities. High risk means people at risk should reduce or avoid strenuous activities outdoors. And very high risk means everyone should reduce or avoid strenuous activities, especially those at risk.